My dearest Rose, if you are reading this letter, then I am already gone. It has been a long cold winter and more lie ahead. The oxen have perished and the crops have frozen over. I am the only one left in all of Crescent Heights. It is too much to bear alone. I am leaving you all of our savings I have recovered from the bank. I have buried them in the hole on the edge of the ranch, just beyond the noble rock. Look twelve paces northwest of the crested tree, it shall be there, four inches below the frozen earth. Until we meet again in heaven, I love you, Montgomery. wrong how come i can't go i mean seriously i should be just i'm just as much as part of this as anyone else is i mean i won't i won't be annoying i promise i don't know it's just 
don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Matt. Matt! What? Why are you doing this? Doing what? Doing what? Matt, I, I won't be annoying. I just want to go. What is wrong with that? That's all there is to it. Well, Peter, let me just say this. If it were up to me, you'd be going. Matt, don't lie to me, all right? I don't care what you say. Just tell me. Tell me that you don't want to go. I want to hear you say it. Say, Peter, I don't want you to go. Peter, I don't want you to go. Matt! All right, hold on. Guys, can you just go? Because if he doesn't, he's not going to stop asking us. Are you serious? Well, it's not fair if you think about it. You don't need to think about it. He's a friggin' idiot. All right, he can come, but you know, like, every five minutes, you're going to have to deal with, like, uh, guys. <laughs> I can't afford that. My, my body mass index is like 20. <laughs> nah. He's just gonna screw it up. He's right. Okay. Peter? Yeah. Yeah, I guess you can come. I can? Yes! Yes! This! Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Don't bring any movies. Yes, take a shower. All right, yeah. Where deodorant to? Mm-hmm. All righty. Be tomorrow at 10. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. All right, so Chris and Hyde should be right here. Go. Got it, guys. It's only like 100 miles from here. Matt, you actually act like that's not far. Matt, you act like I care. Matt, it's not even that far. What is Crescent Heights anyway? I'm not really sure. I had heard that it was a mining town up in the mountains, kind of like a ghost town, but um, some guy told me it was a regular city in the 1800s. Kind of like back when your great-grandpa was around, right? Oh yeah, kind of like like Back to the Future Part 3, where like they go, Marty Marty finds out that Doc is like lost in the Old West and stuff, and then he goes back and he like finds him. <laughs> that was hilarious. Yeah. That was hilarious. Scoot over. Guys, we need to leave right now. We have to be at the cabin by tonight. Thought it wasn't that far. I don't see why we had to bring Peter along. I know, Matt. You realize that we've been working longer and harder than he is. Yeah, but he's part of the team. I hope you don't plan on giving him any of the stuff we get. Well, I'm not sure yet. 
Love's a little stronger, come what may. Do you ever long for true love from me? Every day, it's a getting closer. We really couldn't have asked for a better day. He's absolutely right. Really could like your will. Surely come my hey way. Hey, hey, hey. So what exactly is the difference between a Suburban and a Yukon XL? Well, Suburban's owned by Chevrolet, and a Yukon's GMC. However, they're both owned by General Motors. So what is Which is better? Cadillac Camel Camel chicken noodle soup or Progressive? See, now, I've never had Progresso. Well, neither have I. Have you, I've, Peter? I've had both. Which do you, what do you think is better? I don't know. I think they both crap. Well, see, the thing is, on the commercial, they always make it sound like Campbell's condensed soup is for little kids. That's it, that's Noble Rock. How can you tell? Look how noble it is. Yeah, pretty noble. Yeah. Well, the letter says it's just beyond here, so right next to the crested tree. So uh, let's go find the tree. pretty rich and his wife was everything to him so I'm sure he left her enough to get by. Do you realize how we could how famous we could get if we find all of this stuff? Yeah. I mean I know it's he's your like relative and all but I mean there's got to be enough stuff for just everyone in there. We seriously would be on national news I think. It's very cool. I could see it now. That's it. Cleef, that's my great grandpa's last name. It says it's 12 paces northwest of here. So that's our story. Peter ended up getting just as much as everybody else did. At first, the rest of us weren't happy about it, but we realized that it didn't matter who worked harder or longer that day. But what mattered was that we were all a part of what we like to call the quest for Crescent Heights. <laughs>